If every time you style your curls, it just ends up this big, frizzy, poofy mess, this video is for you. We're going to be chatting about three ways and my top tips to help define your curls. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Barbara Delmonica. So excited you're here. On today's video, we're going to be chatting about the Umberto Giannini Curl Scrunching Jelly. This is actually a huge cult fan favorite. We've had this in Curls Monthly, the first ever Curls Monthly month. So if you were in Curls Monthly then, you remember this. It's back because we had so many people from that first month ask for it again. So here it is, uh, the Umberto Giannini Curl Jelly. This is such a fantastic product. It is one of my favorite gels and I'm thrilled to have it back again. I'm going to link below the first video that I made about this product because it will give some more in-depth information about this product specifically. And I go on and talk about other things there. But today we're gonna be chatting about definition specifically. So just some fast facts about this gel. Like I said, it's a favorite of mine. It will definitely give you like a medium hold. It is protein free, but it's just gonna give you just fantastic definition and really great shine. This product is really great for all hair types, curly, wavies, and coilies and really anyone that wants increased definition. There's really nobody that this product is not for. Um, I think that's why it's so loved by so many is because it's really just a well-formulated gel. It doesn't have too much razzmatazz, which sometimes we want. There's not too much like in it in terms of, you know, proteins and all these things. It really just does its job. It holds your curls, it gives them definition and it enhances their shine. Now, if you wanna figure out how to use this gel, I'm going to link below two videos. Number one, the just general how to use gel video. And then I'm also going to link below this specific video like I chatted about a few minutes ago that's going to talk about how I specifically use this gel in my routine. I always like to go through the ingredients of any of these products inside of Curls Monthly because the front of the bottle might say one thing, but the back of the bottle where the ingredients lie, they do not lie. So first ingredient after water is xanthan gum. Xanthan gum is an ingredient that's used to thicken actually a lot of food and it also thickens products but xanthan gum leaves a medium hold gel cast to our hair. Of course, if you have that crunchy gel cast, all you have to do is scrunch away or clap away the gel cast once your hair is dry and your hair will no longer be crunchy. But xanthan gum is going to help form curl families together, which increases that curl definition. Then we have propylene glycol, which is going to draw and retain moisture into your hair. Next, we have glycerin, which is also going to draw moisture from the air and uh, put it towards your hair. Then we have, I'm going to butcher this name, phenonic xanol, which is a preservative to help the shelf life of the product stay longer. Then we have acrylates palmeth 25. That's actually going to help control volume. Polyquanarinium 11, really great for detangling and just smoothing and softening your hair. PEG 40 hydronated castor oil. That ingredient actually allows water and oils to combine so they're not like separated. Sodium benzenate, another preservative, and then troponin glycol, which helps maintain uh, water and moisture in your hair. So now to the fun part, let's chat about increasing your curls definition. The very first tip I am going to say I recommend so highly, and if you're not doing this, once you start doing this, your mind is going to be blown. But the first tip I have for you is to make sure that you're applying your styling products on soaking wet hair. So much to the point that I actually bring my styling products in the shower with me. I have a little shower mirror. The second I rinse my conditioner out, I will go right in with my leave-in conditioners or my gels to really make sure that my products are going in on soaking wet hair. When your hair is soaking wet it's in that, and it's in that state, products like this, once they're put on, are going to just hold your hair in place and it's going to hold that moisture more so in. When we went over the ingredients, you heard all these ingredients that are meant to maintain moisture in your hair, well, if you're styling on damp or less wet hair, you don't have much moisture in your hair to maintain. So that's what styling on soaking wet hair really, really can help you with. Tip number two is to use a brush often. For all reasons, there's a time to use a brush. You may have heard before, like you're not supposed to brush curly hair. I don't believe in that at all. When I do not brush my hair, my hair becomes so frizzy. When I do not brush my hair for long periods of time, I'm actually not even able to cleanse my hair because there's so many knots 
the shampoo can't even like get to my scalp. But you wanna brush when you're detangling your hair, usually with conditioner in it. I also brush my hair after I put my leave-in conditioner in, and that makes so the leave-in conditioner is able to touch every single hair strand, and when your products are touching every hair strand, your hair is going to be more defined. Brush style. So uh, there's different brushes like Denman brushes, that brush from Bounce Curl that's gone super viral that you can use, and that's going to basically help your hair uh, define and clump into specified specific curls. Then of course, brushing for refreshes. Sometimes I'll use a brush for a refresh if I have like frizzy pieces at the top of my hair. I'll sort of like like group them together, re-wet this area, and then just like run a brush through it, which is going to eliminate frizz and really, really help definition. So use brushes and use them often. Third tip is to definitely apply my CGO method every single time you wash your hair. My CGO method really just stands for creams, gels, and oils. And basically what CGO is, is a way to make sure that you are getting the products that your curls need in the perfect order. So you always wanna start with your cream products, so that's going to be your leave-in conditioners, your sprays, and your uh, curl creams. Then you wanna to go to your Gs. You wanna to go to your gels, which would be where the scrunching jelly comes in. You wanna to go to your uh, custards and you want to go to your mousses and then the o's you're going to put the o's on your hair which stands for oils only when your hair is dry you don't put oils on your hair when your hair is wet so when you do this you're definitely going to want to make sure that the gel that you're using is promoting definition the umberto giannini curl jelly is literally perfect for this my favorite way to use this jelly is to scrunch it in it's literally called a scrunching jelly and it really 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 does leave your curls so soft supple and just like defined make sure you leave your questions below if this video helped you at all give it a big thumbs up and i'll see you next time